Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel. This is Ranji Raj and you are streaming on the Study Beast. So in today's topic, I will be discussing regarding correlation and covariance uh, in the simulation modeling techniques. So just a brief idea what these uh, two terms are there in this. So these two terms you can also uh, see in the mathematical uh, equations and everywhere in integration, differentiation, differential equations and all. So with the context related to the simulation modeling, what these actually uh, denote or are there any differences between uh, these two things? So that we are going to see in this video. So let's get started. So first of all, moving on to covariance, like we understand the basic uh, definition of the covariance that it says that the mean value of the product of the deviations of two variates from their respective means. This means that suppose we are given two different random variates or random variables in fact uh, these two random variates might have got some kind of uh, means between them and when these means are actually shifted from their uh, mean like for example uh, with the like addition to some value or it is uh, moving to some further value or a far beyond value and when so it is produced and when you multiply these two and then you get the product of these two then these are called as covariance so in mathematics also it follows the same principle and so if there are two variables that is x and y are two random variables with the means mu x and mu y and they have the standard deviation of sigma x and sigma y respectively then the covariance is defined as sigma xy that is the standard deviation of the two variables that is x and y is given as this e stands for the mean and the mean is from the actual mean minus the expected mean multiplied by the uh, mean of y from the expected mean of y. So this uh, formula goes in more in a mathematical manner. So other formulas that you can denote it by COV that is the covariance between X and Y and it is also written as E of that is the mean of X minus mu X. This term is replaced by mu X and this EY is replaced by mu Y. So these two also represent mean. So mu represents mean in simulation modeling. And also when you club this, you can have covariance of xy as e of that is mean of xy both combined means minus mu x into mu y product of the two means individually. So this is the overall mean, this is their individual means that is mu x and mu y. So this covariance is moreover used to provide a measure of strength. So it denotes how much strength or what is the relationship between uh, those two variables are there in that particular set of uh, random variables uh, while solving the equation. It also be used for uh, depicting the uh, dependency between the two variables. So that's just all about the covariance. Now moving on to correlation, we have the definition going in this way that is it is the interdependence of variable quantiles. So this correlation can be uh, set up as moreover a scaled version of this covariance so like it depends on the uh, like what is the strength so if there is a strength between these two then there is much more correlation so uh, and so it says that it is the interdependence of variable quantiles so what is this quantiles so quantiles are a set of values of a variable which divide the frequency distribution into equal number of groups containing each set of same fraction of total population. It means that if there is a large crowd of people and if that crowd of people is uh, like classified into different different age groups and if so it is observed that these different different groups have the same number of populations and then it is called as a correlation. It means there is a much stronger relationship between these two groups. So a more scaled version of covariance is called as the correlation. And if we have two random variables x, y like in this case and the standard deviation of them are respectively sigma x and sigma y then we can write the equation for correlation as COR x, y is equal to COV that is the covariance x, y 
divided by the standard deviations of x and y respectively and so for calculating correlation first you need to solve the equation for the covariance that is it goes in this way and so when you solve this equation uh, you get some values and so there are three possible values so these three possible values are applicable for covariance also so uh, if you get some value and if that is a positive value value with a positive sign then it is said that the variables are correlated positively correlated and if that value has a negative sign then it may be said that the values are both the random variables or the values are negatively correlated and when the value is zero then you can say that it is uncorrelated that is there is no measure of strength or there is no relationship between these two variables from that particular set of crowd so this was all about correlation and covariance in simulation modeling in a brief so hope you enjoyed this video if you found this video helpful please hit the like button and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe thanks for watching this video